Oh, hello. Something that bugs me is the number of manipulations necessary to get a multimeter to do the job. Now, in the olden days, they used to be purely mechanical, so you would have a little knob to flip to select what range you wanted. Sometimes that would be slightly more complicated. We have AC, turn the thing on, we have volts, we have high voltage. And then we get our reading. So here then we have a modern fancy multimeter. So we turn it on. And we put the probe in there. And I need to borrow one of the other probes because the other end is quite short. And we tap it there. And we see nothing because we need to tell it to go to AC mode before we can get a reading. Which is such a palaver. Seriously. So I was pleased to find this meter also from Lidl. Turn it on. You can see it glows quite brightly. I'll put it there so you can see it better maybe. Shove the probes in. And it sorts out itself 236 volts. Without touching it, I can switch over and measure a rechargeable battery. And then go back and measure the mains. And that's how it should be. Nice, quick and simple. It also comes with a temperature probe to allow me to check that my tea is a good temperature. There's a typical beep and squeak for verifying continuity and if you want to check a resistor you do need to press the button to get a switch resistance mode and one kilo ohm finally sweep it all over to the NCV there's a mode which can detect electrical cables it's not terribly useful and it detects me better See? I mean, how close do you need to get before we'll even see that? You know what confused me? Was that I could get Wednesday Adams little suck up with the unfeasibly big eyes in HD whenever I wanted, but I couldn't get a multimeter that was capable of figuring out what it was trying to measure all for itself. This can do that, and this is exactly how it should be. Just flip it on, shove the probes, and it does the rest.